This is a level 2 functional skills math paper from NCFE. It's split into two parts. In the first part you can't use a calculator, but you can in the second part. This is the first part. Activity 1. Building blocks. Noah's hobby is building models using plastic blocks. He is making a model of a town. Noah has opened a new model building set. Inside is a large bag of coloured blocks. What percentage of the blocks are red? So in red we've got 276 of them out of the total. So what is the total? We need to make sure we add them correctly so they line up correctly. So we've got 5 and 6 and 5 and 4 to add. 5 and 5 makes 10, 6 and 4 makes 10. So that is 20. So 0 down and 2 carried over. We've got 7 and 7, which is 14. And the 2 we carried over, that is 16. And the 4, that is 20. And another 10, that is 30. So 0 down and 3 carried over. Now here, in the hundreds, we've got only 2 and 1. So that is 3, and the 3 we carried over, that is 6. So 276 out of 600. Why 276 by 600 without a calculator? It's perhaps not going to be the easiest thing to do. So we want to get to a point where we have a fraction that has 100 here at the bottom. So it, we're going to simplify this to get to that point. So to get from 600 to 100, we divide 600 by 6. So we're going to see whether we can do that with 276 because that will give us the percentage easily. So 276 divided by 6, how many 6s would fit into 27? That would be 4 because 4 times 6 is 24 so we have 3 remaining. How many 6s into 36? That is exactly 6. So this is now the same as 46 hundredths. So we know that percentage means out of 100. So this is 46%. Noah has two bags of blocks. Each bag contains the same number of small, medium and large blocks. Noah picks one block from each bag at random. The table below shows the possible outcomes, which are all equally likely. What is the probability that Noah picks two small blocks? So we've got first bag, small, medium, large, second bag, small, medium, large. So we're looking for small and small, which would be this one, out of the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 possible outcomes. So the probability 1 ninth. Noah has started to build a wall using cubes. This is the first diagram in the instructions. The length of each side of the cubes is 1 centimeter. On the grid below, draw the plan view of the wall once Noah has built this part. It means looking at this from the top. So from the top we'll be able to see this, 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 this and this. So it's going to be L-shaped. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 by 2. We've got two down, just like in the picture. So 
see these divisions as well. It's good to use a ruler, but that's going to be easier when you do it on paper than on screen. A statue is 20 meters high and 54 meters wide from A to B. Noah is making a scale model of this statue. Noah's model statue is 5 centimeters high. How wide is Noah's model statue? So the model is 5 centimeters high, whereas the statue in reality is 20 meters high. So we're looking at height for both. To get from 5 to 20, we will multiply it by 4. Without getting into the conversions, we shouldn't forget that this is centimeters and this is meters. So if we keep them the same for the width, we should be fine. So we've got the width in reality. So this was in reality and this was the scale model. So the width is 50 meters. Now we're going to work out what's that equal to in the model. So in centimeters, we'll get the answer. So don't forget, same thing. This number times 4 gives us 54. So to figure out that number, we're going to do the inverse. 54 divided by 4. So how many 4s would fit into 5? That would be exactly 1. And we have one remaining. How many fours into 14? That would be three of them. Because three times four is 12. So we have two remaining. Now we've finished with the digits here. We could put a decimal point in both of the numbers. Now we can add as many zeros as we want. So how many fours into 20? That's five and nothing remaining. So 13.5 centimetres. That's the answer. Noah is making a circular drain track. He has some curved pieces of track. When he puts them together, the curved pieces will make a circular track with diameter 1,600 millimeters. The outside length of each curved section is 157 millimeters. How many curved pieces does Noah need to make the whole circle? Use pi equals 3.14. So we're looking at the circumference because we've got length of each curved section being 157. So that is going around like that. So we're looking at the circumference of the circle. We've got the diameter, which is 1,600 millimeters. And we can keep it like that because we're given this length in millimeters as well. So the formula for the circumference is pi lots of the diameter, pi d. So we need to multiply 3.14 by 1600. Let's do it using the column method. So 1600 times 3.14 4 times 0 that's 0 4 times 0 again 0 4 times 6, 24, 4 times 1 is 4, and the 2 is 6, so 
so we put in down a zero there and we're moving on to the one one times zero is zero one times zero is zero one times six is six one times one is one now we put two zeros down we've got three times zero three times zero three times six which is 18 so eight down and one is carried over three times one which is three and the one that is four so adding all of these together now zero zero four twelve ten five so counting the decimal places in 1600 we don't have any but we have two in 3.14 so we're going to give the answer two decimal places so going backwards one two so that's where we're going to put the decimal point so 5024.00 that's the same as 5024 so now we're going to divide that by the length of each curved section, which is 157. So 5024 divided by 157. How many 157s fit into 502? So 157 add 157 that is 14 11 so 314 two lots of 157 now we've got 502 here so we can fit in another 157 let's see four and seven that's 11 so one down and one is carried over one and five is six and the one is seven three and one is four so 471 which is very close to 502 so we can't fit in another 157 is the idea so we're going to say three lots but what's the difference? What do we have remaining? So 502 take away 471. 2 take away 1 is 1. We need to borrow 1 here now from the 5. So 10 take away 7 is 3. 4 take away 4 is 0. So 31 is the difference. 31 remaining. So now it's a question of how many... 157s fit into 314 and we've got it here from the previous calculation so two lots of 157 is exactly 314 so we have nothing remaining so the answer is 32 32 curved 32 pieces fit into the circumference Model building blocks are sold in sets. The scatter diagram shows information about more sets that Noah sees for sale. You use a scatter diagram to estimate the price of a set containing 3,500 blocks. So we're going to need to draw a line of best fit. So a line where we've got equal distance, roughly between the points on each side of it. It doesn't need to be perfect, but roughly. So obviously looking at some of the points, so that would be roughly equal distance as this one. Or this one, for example, with one over here. So, we're going to estimate the price of a set containing 
3,500 blocks. So we have number of blocks in set. 3,500 is here. So going up to where it meets the line. So that's about here. So between 150 and 200. So 160, 70, 80, 90, 200. So this is 180 pounds. Nara sells a bundle of spare blocks online. The bundle weighs 3,120 grams. There are six types of block in the bundle. We've got type A, B, C, D, E and F and weight of each block in grams. Use the median weight to work out an estimate of the number of blocks in the bundle. So we need to work out the median of these numbers. We put them in order and find the middle number or the middle two numbers. So 2.7, that's the lowest of them all. Then we have 2.9, then we have 3.5, then we have 4.5, then we have 7.4, and finally 9.0. So crossing these out, we've got these two numbers in the middle. So 3.5 and 4.5 if we add them together and then we can divide them by 2 so 5 and 5 that is 10 1 carried over 3 and 4 7 and the 1 is 8 so half of 8 that is 4 so 4 grams is the median weight of each block and that is 3,120. If I divide that by 4, we can estimate the number of blocks. So how many 4s would fit into 31? That would be 7, because 7 times 4 is 28, so we have 3 remaining. How many 4s into 32? That's 8, because 8 times 4 is 32, so there is nothing remaining. How many 4s into 0? That's just 0. And there is nothing remaining because 0 times 4 is 0. So 780 blocks, that's the answer. And this is the end of this paper.